to the first race of the Team versus Team Championship. This is uh, Team ARC versus uh, Team MRC. Uh, so Team MRC taking the BMW M6 and Team ARC or ARC taking the Lexus RCF. So uh, qualifying went meh. Uh, I had more time in the car. Uh, just couldn't hook up a complete lap. Uh, so I ended up sixth. Uh, one thing that I did notice is I did get the setup quite wrong on here and got the gearing quite wrong. So you'll see down this long straight, I'm only actually using five gears instead of the full six, and that is just a mistake on my part. So off the start, so we're looking ahead. We've got my teammate Chewy just ahead here. So ideally, I want to either keep pace with him and support him, or get past and start gapping him without causing too much interference. So go down to the first corner, we've got a bit of a slip stream, but it looks like Chewie's got more. Late on the brakes, nice line there, and we've managed to catch up a little bit of time though. Chewie makes a bit of an overseer um, issue there, and so do I. Uh, but coming out of the first corner, we're looking ahead. We do have Mike from Team MRC all the way up the front, uh, but he definitely needs some support. So there's a lot of art drivers all around him, and if we can get up there and try and support him, that would be great. So going through uh, the long right hand corner and then breaking down into this quick left hand corner again Chewy losing the rear end and then I try and follow him just after so what I'm doing right now is looking ahead and seeing uh, Mike and the other art driver starting to pull out ahead and seeing the two guys just in front of Chewy uh, fighting within the same team and trying to think if I can take advantage of that at the moment through the tight chicane and we are looks like Chewy is holding us up, uh, us up a little bit in that fast right hand corner early in the lap. He did have a double brake switch, not something that we do in our normal uh, line, so it looks like there is a little bit of time there, but he's not slow enough that we can bla blast past him. And if we're going to make a move on our teammate, we want to make sure it's completely clean. So at the final corner, losing a bit of time there, you can see the gearing is where I start to lose a lot of time. Only using those five gears means we lose time in acceleration and top end. So you can see there, even with a slipstream, we are dropping back. But it looks like the, the three ahead are getting quite tight. Chewie looking a little, a little bit into the first corner, a little bit late deep into the first corner, but that's okay. Losing time to Chewie all down that straight there. But it looks like he's putting pressure on the guys ahead, which hopefully that will slow them down so we can try and both get past them. Almost turned in a little bit too early to that left hand corner there. Here you can see my preference is to rev it all the way out in third and then just back off a little bit. We've caught up quite a bit through that corner there. Down to second, nice apex, get on the power. Choose looking around the outside of the Israeli uh, chap from the ARC team. It looks like he is down the inside now. He looks like he's got the racing line for the next chicane. So I'm gonna see if I can smuggle myself in here it looks like I'm just a bit too far behind, so we're going to have to settle back and then drop back in behind uh, the Obama. Or thanks, Obama, even. Coming through the last technical section here, what I'm trying to do is stay close and then focus on this final corner, because that's where there is a lot of time there. But that is the problem, is we are losing speed down these straights. So just float it in once I'm on the apex, on the power as soon as we can. Looks like we've got a good exit, but thanks to Barman's going to have to slipstream and chewy ahead. So can we catch? Looks like we're just holding the station right now. If anything, thanks to Barman's just pulling out a little bit. Chew goes defensive, thanks to Barman goes to the outside. And down into the brakes. Wee, 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 wee. So I got in the brakes a little bit too late there because of the slipstream. Uh, managed to avoid any kind of contact by uh, going around the outside. Um, and thanks to Barman, managed to get us back past Chewy. Chewy has a bit of a slide, so do we. Um, so there, we, need, we lost a lot of time to third. So we need to start deciding what we're doing here, really. So again, quite fast through that corner there. I had to pick up quite a bit of speed there. Nice apex onto the power, lost the rear end a little bit, struggling with rear end traction a little bit in the starting stint here. Now this is a one hour endurance race, so there will be pit stops in here. Going down to 
and what we do is sling it up the inside tree there so I felt like I was just a little bit faster I saw the opportunity open there knew we could get down hard on the brakes and then managed to go up the inside of tree so now we're back past Chewy, what we need to do is see if we can close the gap to thanks Obama and see if we can put him under pressure. Looks like he's dropped off a third a little bit, which is great, because that means he's not got a slipstream a third to help him down this long, long straight. Uh, losing the rear end there, getting a bit of a slide and a bit of grass there, which is going to lose a lot of time down this start-finish straight now. Looks like Chewy's in our slipstream. Now, I don't want to make this easy, but I don't want to make it hard at the same time because we'll just lose time as a team. So he goes down the racing line, I give him the space. I actually back off and break a little bit early and try and block off the ARC driver. And Chu makes a mistake there onto the Astro Turf. He actually comes back and hits us as he loses control and spins out. So that was very lucky there. I tried to give him the space and give him the uh, time to pull away. But he made a mistake, came back across, luckily hit my car, bounced off it, didn't cause any damage, and we didn't lose any places there. So it got very lucky there, could have taken both of us out, but we're all okay. So what we're gonna do now is we just need to focus on some good lap times, trying to put some time in between me and Dan's behind, and trying to catch up thanks of armor if we can. Now we can see the battle's really kicking off at, at the front. So if we can try and get some good laps and try and mix it with them and support Mike, that would be great. So we'll fast forward the action and we'll rejoin uh, when we can see some uh, um, some interesting battles. Uh, keep on looking ahead and you will, we'll see the battle between the three art drivers and Mike. As you can see, the uh, battle ahead from, with Mike's been raging. And you can actually see as we go down to here, Mike actually gets what seems like on the replay a lag punch and ends up on the grass. So, means he drops right back down. Now we have been doing well. We've been pulling away from the arc drivers ahead, but now this means uh, Mike has dropped out the battle for the lead, which is very unfortunate due to some lag there. Now what we need to do is try and stay with him, but you can see at this point my tyres are very worn. Uh, now that's one thing in Grand Chisso Sport you'll notice that if you are using controller, it is harder to control your tyre wear than it is on a steering wheel. That is definite advantage for the steering wheel. Um, so coming out this final corner here, we're trying to stay in uh, Mike's slipstream just to help because we know he's a fast driver. If he's going to catch up the guy's head, we want him to pull us along. So you can see we're in this slipstream now. We're actually getting sucked along very nicely here, but you see I'll back off because I don't really want to go for the move. I know he's going to be faster than me. I don't want to slow him down. As I say, I want him to pull us along. But you can see coming out of that corner, and definitely losing a lot of grip on the rear end. We're struggling with that a little bit. Um, the fuel load is going down, but the tyre wear is fairly high, especially on that front left. In these long corners like this one here, you can see we're now having to back off more than we did at the start of the race just to get the front end to turn in. What I'm also doing now is trying to assess what kind of laps we'll get out of the, out of the fuel tank and see if we can get an idea of how many fuel stops. Now with this being Fuji you're doing a lot of speed across the start finish line so when you're in the pits that's a long time sat still while people are doing a lot of speed down the start finish straight so the penalty for a pit stop is fairly high here so it was a toss up between a two and three stop but I think at this point we're looking at a two stop we're going to try and do 20 minutes per tank of fuel and set of tyres looks like so far everybody else is thinking about the same what we'll do now again we'll fast forward uh, the action 
and see what we can find. join the action here so you can see I've got two laps of fuel left but I'm finding the tyres are absolutely shot so my idea was they could, they're going to go a lap longer and I'll pit this lap but unfortunately when we look ahead we can actually see it looks like everybody decides to pit on this lap so um, I was hoping to go a lap earlier than everybody else but unfortunately not so sticking another set of the soft tyres on looks like a lot of the people behind are also coming into the pits change of tyres. Now fuel, what I was thinking is maybe short stopping because we had two extra laps of fuel so I'm not going to bring the tank here. I'm going to try and do 20 minutes worth of fuel and hope that's a little bit less than the guys ahead. So only up to 83% and it has closed the gap to the guys ahead so you can see uh, Mike was getting away but now we are very close to the rear of him now, a lot closer than we was. My hope again is now maybe on fresh tyres we can keep up and use him to pull us along. Looking back, uh, we've got Lemon Pen behind, which I believe maybe started, stopped uh, a couple of laps earlier or a lap earlier. So uh, we haven't lost any places in the pit stops. It looks like everybody ahead pitted at the same lap. Um, and we're back with Steve now, so we just need to see if we can keep with him. So down through this corner here, it looks like so far we are slightly catching up to slash staying with him and it looks like we're making inroads, so thanks, Barmer. So my idea is Mike can pull us along. When Mike attacks, thanks, Barmer, we can use that to take advantage and try and get past two. So through the, uh, through the chicane here, we're staying really close here. Again, it looks like controller, we can keep up with the guys on the steering wheel, um, but we do lose out over the longest stint with that tyre wear. Again, we're not gearing not quite suiting this track here we're kind of in this section here do we use second do we use first using a bit too much curve there and unsettling the car there which is quite annoying because it's gonna punish us all the way down this long straight and unfortunately we've lost the slipstream of Mike so maybe less curve on the uh, last corner there what we'll do again um, looks like Mike is pulling away so we're going to fast forward the action again and see what we can find. join the action here so we can see Mike has actually made good inroads so he's managed to uh, catch up to Thanks Obama and actually pass Fred the Belgian driver from ARC. Now one thing that I did notice is if you look ahead now you'll see going down the start finish line there is a lot of weave in there so what we're going to do is try and zoom in a little bit. You can see the drivers there weaving quite a lot to try and break the toe. Personally it's not something that I'm a fan of because I just think in real life it's dangerous, in sim life it's quite dangerous. Um, if you go down the start finish line and you're giving away a slipstream, that's the punishment for being ahead. Um, you should have got a better exit off the last corner. Um, I think that weaving like that to try and break a toe isn't really acceptable. Um, but that's just my opinion and it seemed to have happened quite a few times in this race. So again we'll fast forward the action and uh, see if we can find out any more interesting tidbits.
so we're pulling back the action here so um, this is a little bit later in the race uh, now we've done a few laps now we started losing time on the last few laps lemon pen behind as you can see uh, just as the tires were really starting the way you can see the front left is absolute shot um, We've done a short fuel load here, so we've got to stop in this lap. It's not, not that we can extend it any further, so we're going to have to come into the pits on this lap, and I actually made quite a big mistake and clipped the inside there. So you can see we had less than a lap worth of fuel. That does mean that we've got to do 21 minutes on the last set of tyres, and we're going to need quite a bit of fuel. So it looks like my short stop in the middle, although helped us catch up with the guy's head, uh, didn't help us too much in the long run. So throwing some fuel in here. Uh, the diamond is telling us that we're going to need a full, full tank of fuel. Now, can we get away with a little bit less? That's the question. So, away we go. Uh, we dropped down to 10th, but that's only because other people are going to make stops. Now, I think this means that I am stopping before the guys ahead. Now, as you can see on the left hand side my lap times were dropping so we're losing about three seconds a lap on the last lap there so if we can get back to the same kind of lap time that we were running that should mean that we can make three seconds on those guys if they're running similar sort of lap times as we were so coming out of the pits my hope here is to hit the ground running and get a nice fastest lap uh, which if memory serves me correctly we do get my fastest lap so we'll talk you through that on the next lap as you can see we're trying to catch up Chewy um, got a bit of a gap not so much that we I think he's going to interfere with our laps but I, at this point I don't know whether he's stopped twice or three times he may have done a very good stint on the previous set he may even uh, be on a harder set of tyres and short shifting and trying to save some fuel and maybe going to the end but it looks like we're catching him quite a bit on this lap so I don't think it's going to be something that he's going to be able to hold on for the rest of the race at that point so it looks like he's got another stop in him you can see the guys ahead also stopping on this lap so let's see where they are when, they, uh, when we come out so coming on to the, uh, the fastest lap of the race for myself uh, coming out the final corner trying to get a, a good exit see that I actually short shifted because at this point I'm looking at how many laps of fuel we've got left it doesn't look like we've got enough fuel to make it to the end so coming out we're managing to stay ahead of lemon pen there hard on the brakes down all the way down to first once we get to the apex back on the power try and keep the car as straight as possible so down to the fast left hand corner here we can stay all the way to the right we're gonna break down one kick corner in all over that kerb there, as long as we keep two wheels on the kerb we'll be okay. Stay in third, all the way around there, a little bit of a lift. Once the nose comes back into grip, we can get back on the power and then face up here. Down one gear, again trying to get up to the kerb and on the power nice and smoothly there. Down through the gears here, seeing if we can catch a bit of a, a toe from uh, Chewy ahead. You can see Lemon Hen is behind us, we have made a nice gap there to him but we know he was fast in the last uh, stint down to first all over the kerb there a little squirt of power and then back on the power all the way up to second and then stay in second turn it in try and stay close to the kerb there now we're really starting to get in, in close to chewy hold it in second little bit of a break try and first now to see if we can get a bit more power so is Chewie going to be able to give us a slipstream down this uh, start finish line? Nice line there, you can see Chewie struggling with tyre wear there and running wide into the last corner there. But it looks like we might get a slight bit of slipstream from Chewie ahead. And powering down, down these, uh, this long straight and that's my fastest lap of 137.9. Um, half decent lap. Uh, could have gone faster, yes, but it's not too bad for the setup that we've got here. So now we're getting to the point where we are catching Chewy. Ideally, we want to get past him without causing any issues for me or him. You can see Lemon Pen is keeping us a kind of steady gap here. If we get too close to Chewy and he starts slowing us down, we're going to start losing time to Lemon Pen. So really, we want to get past him as quickly and as efficiently as possible. I think at some point now I do start giving 
a couple of flashes of the headlights, just basically say, look, you know I'm here, I want to get past, I don't want to lose any time, and I think you need to pit sometime soon, so went down to the place where we passed before, looks like he's running a bit wide there, again he is running wide, but this is just holding us up at this point here. So coming out of the corner here, we can see Lemon Penny is only a second and a bit behind. Um, definitely for this section we feel like we've got the better tyres, we want to make use of them, we need to get past Chewy as quick as possible. Coming up to the final corner, we want to have a good exit and maybe we can just blast past him down the start finish line. Again, it looks like he's a little bit wide and we're down the inside, but he does get a good exit, so we're going to slip, slip into the slipstream here. We know the uh, gearing isn't helping us down here, but we are getting the slipstream eventually. Go to the inside, trying to make it as easy as possible. It looks like Lemon Pen's caught up a little bit later on the brakes as we have the fresher tyres make the apex and then back on the power. Now on the replay, Chewie does actually just slide out just then, uh, was just behind us and makes a similar mistake to what happened before, got on the Asher turf on the exit and then uh, lost the rear end of the car. So what we'll do now, we're gonna fast forward these few laps, because uh, what's gonna start happening, we're gonna really start struggling with the tires on this longer stint, and Lemon Pen's gonna start really closing up on us. So we're rejoining the action here. Uh, we can see we've just lapped Timmy, and we coming onto the back straight now. You can see Lemon Pen's managed to get the gap down to just about a second. So at this point, I know the car's starting to struggle with the tyres. I'm worrying about the the fuel, as you can see Timmy comes there blast, blasting past. You can see I, even with a short shift, gears aren't helping me, and Lemon Pen is really catching us once he's in the slipstream. So down hard on the brakes, taking a semi-defensive line there. As long as I can get to the apex, there's gonna be no room for Lemon Pen to get down the inside. So back up through the gears. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make a gap between me and Lemon Pen during, during this infield section in the hope that I can get then down onto the start finish straight and he not be in my slipstream. So running a little bit wide there and getting a tiny bit of a penalty. And you're going to see a couple of little penalties creep in here as I'm trying hard to get the maximum out of the car, but the tyres are really starting to go away. We've still got another eight minutes left of the race, and the front tyres are pretty shagged already. Down into this uh, tight uh, chicane here, again using first gear, getting good traction, rear tyre wear, not too bad. And you would have seen me early in the race uh, playing around with the brake balance, trying to move the brake balance to the rear a little bit, just to try and save a little bit of wear on the front tyres. Uh, only problem is that does diminish the brake performance and it does make the car a little bit more oversteering. So coming to the final corner, down to first, searching for that apex and then getting on the power as quick as we can, try not to get too much oversteer. Now straight away we look back and we can see Lemon Pen's going to have a slip sheet down here. So I'm not weaving, I've just gone all the way to the right. Basically what I'm saying is, hey, if you're going to pass me, you're going to have to go around the outside of me. I tried to fake for the pit lane, and didn't buy it, so he's coming across here. We're just putting the car in the middle of the road, trying to make his line as light, tight as possible, break as late as we can, and we do make the apex. So we successfully managed to ward him off into that corner there, but we could see how powerful the slipstream was. Now, again, same idea as before, we need to get the power down, try and make as much time through this section as possible so we can uh, have as much gap going on to that back straight as possible. Now, looking ahead, we can see we're now up to fourth. Mike has actually left the race. Um, I believe there were some issues with uh, getting lag, um, being pushed off circuit, and the weaving down the start finish straight. Um, and he's actually exited the race. So at the moment, we're the top MRC driver. 
Um, so just off the podium, it looks like podium is out of the question, but if we can hold off Lemon Pen, that at least means we've got, got fourth here. Breaking a little bit early there, so we can see the tyre wear is starting to affect our braking distances into the tighter corners here. Way wider the apex there, again losing time and getting a bucket load of oversteer. Now, Lemon Pen, you can see he's on our radar, he's lining us up for this long straight. He almost was alongside last time and he's closer this time, so we know it's going to be difficult. So getting to the apex, getting on the power, a nicer exit there. Again, we're going to go all the way to the right. Basically what I'm saying is, if you want to come past me, you're going to have to do it on the left hand side of me. I'm not going to give you the inside line to this corner. So you can see we're uh, running along the line, no weaving, he uses a slip stream, pulls out around the outside. You can see how much faster it is down the straight line. But what we're going to do is going to break as late as we can. We managed to get his, our nose alongside him so he can't turn our, in on us. And we managed to actually come back past him. Now, I think that's just a band-aid because he, he's going to probably be past us in the next lap or two. But at least we're slowing him up, showing him that we're still here. Through that fast left corner. Again, running a little bit too wide. We'll probably end up with a penalty for that. Yeah, a penalty there. But... We're trying our hardest to stay ahead of Lemon Pen here. Really good racing though. He's given us room, we've given him room. Uh, it's been some uh, really respectful driving so far between the two of us. So coming down to the touch chicane on the back straight. Braking hard as soon as we hear the beep for the uh, intermediate. You can see there I've moved the brake ba ba balance to the back of the car so the rear end has been quite unstable at that, that point as well. So again, Lemon Pen's all over us, so get to the apex this time. Trying to carry as much speed as possible, maybe a bit too tight there, and we go way over the kerb there. That's probably going to throw us another penalty again. Uh, Lemon Pen right on the back of us again. Losing the rear end into that corner there again. And Lemon Pen even closer down this straight. You can see we're really starting to lose the front end as we turn in there. Again, staying to the right, I'm saying, Lemon Pen, if you're coming past me, you're going to have to do it on the outside. I'm trying to get into his mental mindset and say, well, if he's going to go around the outside, he'll probably come flying back up the inside again. This time he's past us, probably a little bit better. We're on the brakes as hard as possible. Back down the inside, but the rear end is just can't take that kind of braking force. And Lemon Pen does the cut back on us. So there you can see, because we had so much braking uh, performance to the rear, once we got to the apex, the rear just wasn't happy with doing the braking and the turning and uh, slides out and we lose it. Trying to come back on Lemon Pen again. We know we're fast through this corner here, but we just can't get on the power. That front left is really hurting right now. There's only three minutes left, three minutes, 40, 35 of, of the race, but we just can't keep pace here. We'll fast forward the action and uh, see if we can keep up with Lemon Pen, but I think it's futile. Um, expectation, especially with losing the straight line speed down the uh, front straight with the wrong gear. So we're rejoining the action on the final lap. You can see we've uh, ended up dropping about 3.7 seconds to Lemon Pen. Uh, over the last few laps. This is the final lap in the final corner. You can see the front left is gone. You can see that's where we're losing all our time. We've just got no commitment on the uh, turning. This does mean that we finish uh, top driver for MRC, uh, but fourth and the rest of the guys behind wasn't a great result. We managed to take, take decent result I think if we had better tyres and a better setup we could have done better um, we can see we've got ARC first second third and fourth then myself then ARC in sixth seventh and eighth Chewy all the way down in ninth so not a great result um, I think if I had a bit more straight line speed a bit better tyre wear we could have challenged a bit more um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed the commentary, let me know in the uh, comments below. Like, subscribe. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Share it if you want to. And we'll see you again soon.